Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this Delphi ECU. It's a CRD3. It comes from a Sprinter 2018. It's Euro 6 with 120 kilowatt. Should be around 163 horsepower. And as I said, today I will uh, read and write this issue. For this job, we'll use Flex. I read this issue because I don't have the car here. It was only the issue sent it to me. It's not in the best uh, condition, but it works. You'll see also which data I will write it back. Okay, we don't lose the time anymore. We proceed to work. First, you should connect the power supply. I connected also external mouse because it's much easier for me to use it. Now let's start the software. I will start the flex and we give a look on the diagram. And the laptop is connected. I do apologize, I was interrupted. Like always, when you want to do something, you are interrupted. It was also necessary to restart the PC because of the updates. Always when I have something important to do or I want to make a video or recording, I fuck this Microsoft. It's like, it's somebody staying behind of the server and he said, okay, this idiot want to make recording let's send the update and this laptop is uh, noisy like a helicopter i cannot uh, record because you don't understand so good what i have to tell you and also my english is not so great then i should be uh, careful when i record these videos anyway we start the job let's connect the issue we have like i said crd3 and we type sprinter We will go for this one, 163 horsepower. This is our ECU. You can do it also on OBD. You can do also full backup OBD or you can do it on bench. It's up to you. We have a simple diagram. Let's turn the ECU. I don't know which... Uh, version it of this one but we will try one after each other and we we'll see which one gives results or not You must to pay attention because it will show you B1 and B2, then it's this two. You don't use too much these uh, connections, but just pay attention. Don't make a confusion and put to B5 and B6 because uh, I had the comment and somebody write me it cannot uh, communicate with the ECU. And I tell him to check good the connections and I said, no, I make the connection. But he make the connection according to the colors, not to the numbers. And this is really bad, because you should make the connection according to the numbers, not to the colors. And uh, I tell him pay attention on B1 and B2. After that he realized he made a mistake, because he tried to convince me that this flex it cannot read this uh, issue. Now after the connection is done, we just plug to the programmer and we give a read. Or at least we try to read. Let's connect. Okay, if you failed, let's go back and try the second version. Let's connect. You are also able to see here where the color it is, 1 and 2, this is the connection, okay? When you have chance to do 
this AC on bench do it make a full backup you never know what happens you never know when you need this data also if you have problem with original data and you use programmer like flex or another companies you can write them and they will send you original files of course they are not for free they will charge you but at least uh, you have possibility to to have back the original file also if you have problem you can leave me a comment below if you need uh, also service for adblue tpf all of this stuff you can also contact me i will put also the email for software and tuning on the description below and uh, i'm the cheapest one because i can do it why not price started from one or two coffee depends on the issue let's say maximum four coffee buy me four coffee and that's it if you need the software for stage one stage two i let you know i'm not so cheap because i don't uh, use finished files from forums and time is money okay to make a real stage one file you need a lot of time and as i said time is money you are not forced to send me files for tuning okay because i don't want to work for free okay let's save the data and i save the data and then we'll proceed to read the eeprom okay now let's proceed to read this eeprom it will be very fast on the eeprom it cannot make the checksum correction you should uh, do this with another program okay the reading is done now let's also write uh, the data on the ECU on this issue the data will be add blue off this is what the customer wish to have it and this is what we will do this is the file the file have uh, four megabytes let's see how fast it is comparing with OBD is much faster always when you read on bench is much faster and you don't have so much uh, risk because you have flat battery or you forget to put the power supply or something like that you don't have this kind of problems on the comments below you can also write me with which programmer you do this job tell me also which programmer you cannot do this job because we also should share bad experience not only good experience The writing procedure is finished. You should not forget on this uh, Delphi issues. You should unplug the AdBlue. This is uh, what he requests. If you have Bosch, you can leave it there. You don't have a problem. Usually on Bosch issues, it's not necessary to unplug the AdBlue. At least on this car, on Mercedes, a Sprinter, you should unplug the injector and also the pump, okay? Before to close the video, because you ask me about Flex and make more videos, I will make few videos one after each other, but I don't know when I will post them. I will leave also a link in the description below for more you can buy this programmer, because I do have a lot of subscribers and they are asking me always for link, then I will try to don't be so lazy and I will put on almost all of the videos a link for more you can buy that programmer. From where I buy this programmer and if I make a video related to it, I don't know, let's say launch company, then I will try to put on that video a link from where you can buy it not always i do like that because i forget or maybe i'm too lazy okay and before to finish the video and telling you bye bye you should never forget to disconnect the ecu it is very important to disconnect the ecu when you do this job on obd never try to start the car if you have the programmer connected to the ecu because you'll have big problems okay we close here and like always thank you for watching bye bye